Hey guys, and welcome back to Life is Strange. It's just a little health update. Uh, this last week has kind of been hell for me. <laughs> so, been dealing with that. I'm on new meds, so they're making me like very sleepy. Not as sleepy as my old meds, but still. <laughs> so, uh, that's pretty much it. Let's just get into it, I guess. I didn't sound very confident about that. <laughs> okay. Oh god, okay. So, I'm skipping this because we already got into the laptop, so. I'm gonna tell Chloe! We're gonna spill the beans! Oh, Joyce is nowhere to be found. Oh, no, oh, she's right there. Never mind. Here nice comes breakfast. David. David. I have to take a nap after writing up vandalism reports last night. What happened? Some little shit ass punks broke into the swimming pool. This is what happens at these PC bullshit colleges. Entitled students taking over the campus. Do you know for sure it was Black Whale students? Who else would do it? And I'm gonna bust them. <sighs> Figures you'd be here. Is that your Rachel Amber Halloween costume? Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha, you're so funny. Must be nice to be suspended and have some free time oh. off Blackwell. I forgot. Leave Max alone, Oh, no, David. I didn't. Stop Got it. threatening students. He threatens them with surveillance cameras. So he can spy on everybody. Like he spies on all of us here. Don't start, Chloe. Not now. Yeah, I'm just all Don't rat me out, Chloe. You're a total paranoid, David. Not now, Chloe. He used to call me a loser for getting kicked out of Blackwell. So who's the loser now, David? Who haven't you accused or harassed? Between your investigations into Rachel and Kate, what have you done besides get in trouble? I'm not siding with David. <laughs> You're a bully. Screw that guy. When she was going through hell, you could have totally helped her. Everybody at Blackwell is a suspect to you, except for Nathan Prescott. That's why the students and faculty don't like you. You even threatened me. I do respect your service, but you don't respect anybody. Uh, you were smoking pot in Chloe's room. That's illegal. So is spying on people in your family and at your work. Why do you have photos of Kate Marsh and Rachel Amber in your files anyway? What? Is this true, Max? Yes, David. Why do you have these files at all? I you... find this very disturbing. Probably shouldn't I be with this guy. His morals are kind of... Kind of interrogation. Yeah. Not from you punks. Maybe you should calm down. Uh oh You're turning on me now, huh? Of course. Oh, my God. We always stick together. We'll so? You. Such David, a... Misogynist. go to a hotel until we figure this out. You can't kick me out of my own home it's my home. yeah it was it never your home for, and in my name, to begin with you know the law right oh, I, I thought i knew a lot of things like when i'm outflanked have a nice day chloe for once just please shut up i hope joyce nope. doesn't hate me for tearing into david i don't think she will i don't think yeah I think she's more mad at him than anything. <laughs> I think you're fine. Max, that gave me chills. And you better not rewind this one. No. Why would I? Okay, what do I do now? I talk to Joyce? Max, don't beat yourself up. David earned this all by himself. Well, I'm not talking to David. Okay, so what do I do now? I hate when the game does this. Just like, okay, now you figure it out. Go. Oh, shoot. I restarted it. So, 25 minutes. Like that. Okay. Time to leave. I wish it was more you know, apparent of what you had to do. When I went through David's laptop, 
instead of you just having to guess. Pictures of Rachel and Frank. Like, I wish it would just tell you, like, oh, now you have to do this. <laughs> right, no Make things so much easier. She was just posing to tease Frank. If you're not gonna believe me, why don't we check out what Frank has in his RV? What's that gonna prove? Frank has Rachel's bracelet. What else does he have in there? Motherfucker better not have anything. For his sake. So now we're spying on Frank? Let's check the door. Frank gets so wasted he sometimes forgets to lock it. Nice, uh... I can't believe what do you call those? Not anymore. Barber? We have to be casual ninjas here. Brazers or whatever? I don't know. Shipples. Okay, here's the plan. I'll go to the diner and distract Frank by telling him I have his money, but he needs to come with me. Then you come in and rewind so Frank doesn't see me. Then you can tell Frank he needs to check out his RV, and then you rewind after you get the key, and, uh, and... Chloe, I got this. I'll be right back. Don't let my epic plan get in the way of yours. I'll try to scrounge up a Scooby snack to distract his beige butt. A Scooby snack. <laughs> now to find a quick and easy way to snag Frank's key. Okay, looks like we're gonna have to rewind several times for this one. Maxine Pop here. I'm sorry I haven't gotten in touch sooner. I know your mom is- oh my god, and you call yourself Pop. <laughs> I'll just glossed over that. I know your mom is very proud of you for saving that girl, as am I. Makes us so proud to read about you in the news and see actual video of you walking down from the roof with that girl. If you want to come back home now to relax, maybe go to a high school around here. The door is wide open. Love, Pop. Are you a freaking grandpa, man? Stop calling yourself Pop. Thanks, Pop. It's been a whirlwind here. <coughs> I'm not ready to come home yet. Talk later, Max. Maxoxo. I didn't realize that was your full name, Max. Good lord, bacon. I'm ready to oh, wash She's again. not here. Oh, but I need to get those keys from Frank. Okay, it's officially sold out, but I managed to get us both tickets. Had to fight a dozen bullies off for them though. Freaking nerds. Okay, let's let's talk to him. Hugh he looks so pale. Balls, girl. But hanging out with Chloe, playing with guns, and dressing up like Rachel doesn't make you cool or tough. What the fuck do you want? Take a picture of me and I'll break your fucking camera. How do you know these are Rachel's clothes? Because she looks beautiful in them. Oh my god. Like really You're giving yourself away, dude. Gun from you. Grab your keys and let's check out your RV. Let's not. You fucking creep me out. In other words, Max, no keys. Maybe I could chat up that officer. Or even Nathan. And then go all Groundhog Day on them until I get the info I need. Okay. Are you gonna rewind then? Well, maybe we should, just to be safe. What are you doing? Why are you always following me? Oh, good. Let's, let's just try everything. That was a bad idea. <laughs> I just wanted to see what would happen. Just like Max. Okay. Um, let's talk to the officer. There she is. Super Maxine. That's your new nickname around the bay. Sorry, but you did earn it. We're all real proud of you for helping Kate down. Thanks, Officer Barry. I was just lucky. And right on time. Who counts. I'm glad you're representing Black Bull Academy. 
Let's just go through in everything. This case, will be the face of Blackwell for a while. I like the dialogue. And you for helping her. That's the kind of school spirit we need more of. Gives me more info. Okay. Do you think Arcadia Bay is a weird town? I think a normal city with normal problems about now. Makes me sick thinking about it. I thought Nathan Prescott represents Blackwell. Well, it don't make me backwash this bacon. <laughs> you know what the Prescotts represent? Taking over Arcadia Bay? You're not far wrong, Max. I heard the Prescotts are working on some new big land deals. Mr. Prescott helped out my family once a while ago, so I made a deal with him that I can't seem to get out of. Man, if I could get one instant replay in life. I better finish my breakfast first. What? We didn't even get to talk about David. Oh god, Nathan's there. Um. What? What? Does it do something? Okay, we already did that. Let's just let's let's just talk to Nathan. See what happens. Did you just growl? Rachel! Uh, whatever the fuck. Uh oh look, Max Amber. Is that your punk rock girl outfit now that you've been suspended? Thanks for trying to get me in trouble, you tweet, bitch. Considering we're in a public diner with a police officer right over there, you shouldn't advertise your rage, Prescott. Oh, yeah? You shouldn't have bitch snitched on me! <laughs> that fucked up principle! Uh, I don't know how to go about this. I guess Kate? I bet you hoped that Kate Marsh would stay quiet. Idiot says what? Did you drug her? You were so stupid, Max! You think you're so goddamn smart too. Don't push me, girl. You don't want me for an enemy. Don't understand? push me, girl. Do you? Oh my god. Calm down, dude. We're in the diner. He's right. so weird. Plus, you're an adult now. I could sue your dumbass for libel. Thanks. Now fuck off, Dyke. The... Stop growling. That is so weird. <laughs> Let's see what happens if I see more stuff. Okay, let's speak. Rachel. Okay. Your sugar daddy will always protect you and threaten me. You don't know shit about my father or me. Nobody here does. Then tell me what I should know. Why? So you can pretend to care? Hmm? Spoiler alert, he's an asshole. Maybe I could help you. I don't need you for anything except to stay out of my fucking business, understand? Now get out of my face. Try again. Why does it always do that? The point is to go faster, not... <laughs> Jesus. Rachel. Okay. Next. Ooh, Rachel and Frank. There we go. I bet Frank hooked you and Rachel Amber up with party supplies. Nice try. Rachel partied like a fiend on her own. More than me. I doubt that. Like you would know, virgin. Even that pig over there knows Rachel hung out more with Frank. Oh. I mean, don't talk to the cop about that, dumbass. Try interrogating somebody else, Jimmy Caulfield. With either Frank or Officer. Okay. Let's just talk There she in. is. Thanks, Officer Barry. I'm glad you're Okay, let's see what else. <gasps> Rachel and Frank. Nathan said that Rachel Amber represents Blackwell. With Frank Bowers. Bowers ain't no student anymore. Sadly, he does represent one side of Arcadia Bay. I want you to stay out of his orbit, okay? Him and that rabbit mutt. I heard something about Frank Bowers and his puppy. That boy does love his dog. Especially when the dog is your personal drooling bodyguard. You could bet he trained that poor thing on blood. Gross. I wouldn't bet. Where did he get the pup? Frank used to bet on dog fights. And to his credit, 
He had a revelation. He saved a bunch of dogs. Kept one for himself. He's still a creep. You and that Chloe stay away, right? That Chloe. Um, what? Uh, should I rewind again? Let's do it. Like I said before, I knew I was going to be doing a lot of rewinding, so... Okay, let's talk to the cop again. And then maybe talk to Nathan? There she is. See if there's anything more. Thanks. I'm glad. Okay. Let's talk about the Prescott deal. Well, I heard a rumor you were working for the Prescott family on the side. Jesus, doesn't this town ever shut up? I don't blame you for getting extra work. Look, sometimes I check up on the Prescott family to make sure they're doing all right. Nathan included. Keep this quiet, Max. Okay. Let's see if Nathan has anything else to say. Right. Okay. Okay. I heard your dad hired a local cop to keep an eye out on you and Frank Bowers. Like a babysitter. Bullshit! My dad doesn't hire. He owns. And these pigs know better than to knock on me. Do they? I hope that means Frank won't get busted. Eventually he will. Guy's into some freaky shit. He told me once he took a weird blood oath for Rachel. Uh, forget Whoa. I told you that. Seriously. Don't like that. I don't like crack whore. Oh my god. Yeah. <laughs> Those are some strong words there, Nathan. Okay, let's see if we can get Frank to say anything else. Sweet. Save dogs. You act so scary, but you did save all those dogs. One, I'm not acting. Two, who told you about the dogs? It's actually a great story. You're an animal lover. Could I pet the doggy? I could go grab him from your RV right now. <laughs> I won't even let you pick up the dog shit. Oh. Besides, you don't want a leash. You want these keys right here. Look at your eyes dilate. You're worse than a junkie, Max. But no fix for you. Okay, is there a way? I'm afraid I'll have to take your keys now, asshole. Is he just- You did not just do that. Give me back my keys, bitch. Give me my keys now. Okay, if we rewind, will we still have the keys? I think so. Oh, God. We'll see. Doesn't look like they're back on the table, but who knows? Uh oh. Key brought. Okay. Cool. Let's go. That was a lot easier than I thought it would be. Give us a lot of information. Oh, there's a Lissa. Let's go talk to her. Oh, great. Mm -hmm. I'd love to talk, Max, but I'm drowning in puddle scum. Okay, what if we do it before she gets hit with the car? Oh, God. It takes like two seconds. Come on, Warren. Alyssa, watch out! Quit thinking, Max. Okay, can we talk to her? <sighs> that was close, Alyssa. That's the second time you've saved me, Max. Thanks. Don't thank me. I haven't done anything special. You've paid your dues by saving Kate's life on the road. You really are a Blackwell hero, Max. I think her and Kate have the same voice. Hers is just lower. I'm just glad she came down. Kate's a good person. My friend. And 
times she was almost bullied to death by a video. It's fucked up. As, but you're an amazing friend. As it happens. I want to make sure she knows how many friends she really has from now on. Amen to that. Max, we should get a posse to see her in the hospital when they allow visitors. Let's hang later and talk some more. Okay. <sighs> Okay, we're all good to go. Let's go. Okay. I should have known. The amazing Spider Max. I couldn't have done it without Bright. Now let's get in and out. You'll need this, Max. Okay. On your mark, get set. <sighs> Uh, they're in the parking lot. We're not throwing that shit towards the road. I think we just made that dog our bitch. Get it? Now we can snoop in peace. But let's not waste time. That's messed up to throw it near out. the road. He might come back. Damn. I think you'll be fine. I my room was a shithole. You're not a creepy drug dealer. <sighs> Frank has issues, but he's not creepy. At least I didn't think sure? so until I saw him with Rachel's bracelet. And I have an empty box of oh, we could cruise Sour Patch Kids on my desk, and now I really want Sour Patch Kids. Just really yes, hungry. Tearing up the highway. And you'd probably want me to kiss you again. Chloe, we're on a schedule. We need clues about Rachel. Didn't even wait for her response. Just daydreaming. Okay. You scope the we'll area while I pack his computer for info. I'm just gonna look. Ooh. Frank? Frank must have a reason to keep a police radar nearby. We're only gonna look at the important stuff. Okay. Baseball bat. Ooh. I doubt Frank is trying out for the Arcadia Bay Brewers. Ooh, a knife. Good to know Frank has a knife lying around. Ooh, baggies. Crappy wipe out here. It's taken days to download porn. Yeah, of course Frank gets the munchies. Okay, that one was weird to, to point out everybody does frank must spend all his drug money on baggies <laughs> recycle dude nice rig glad frank treats something here with respect sink dude there's a whole ass counter space why are you putting it in the sink hide you're an animal Yeah, it's for. Whoa. I'm not gonna say. Are these for Frank or is he selling them? Or both? Too bad I don't have my Frank Bowers decoder ring. Mm. Okay, let's see. Oh, a book. He actually reads. What about that? Is Frank going to deal online now? Ah, uh, that's pretty illegal. Well, not nowadays, but back then it was. That's almost cute to see Frank posing with his dog. Okay, let's see what's in the vent. Okay, this vent is loose. I need something to pry it open. I cannot believe you would wear a collar and a furry mask. You are dumb. Oof. Ooh, Frank's stash. Steal it. I'm just kidding. It's not worth it. Let's look around for something. No more secrets. Coffee day. I don't know why I said it like that. Okay, um, a knife maybe? Wait. This is almost as good as a set of keys. That's right. That oh. Max, you didn't tell me she's attached to the wall. I'm seriously ignoring you. 
My blade will open any portal. Shouldn't be playing with knives, Max. Dangerous. That's not creepy at all. I should be touched or disturbed. Frankie B. Hope you read this first thing in the morning. Sorry about last night. I was being a monstrous bee. Bee. Yeah. <coughs> <coughs> and took it out on you. And poor Pompadou. What a weird name for a dog. There's a lot of weird stuff going on in my life. And sometimes I feel... Like, I'm never going to get out of Arcadia Bay. Thank God for you. You're one of the best things I have here, and I smile when I think of us together. Really throwing Chloe under the bus. Let's just drive out of here forever. Love you always. Heart RA. I'm glad Rachel got to drive this beast. <clears throat> she looks genuinely happy. Don't Rachel say that. I did hang out with Frank. I'm learning more about Rachel than I want to oh, know. Oh, God. Yeah, that's a little much. She's what 16 do you have to have been like 16 at this time trouble in paradise frank that was not cool what you did and don't blame the drugs you actually scared me and i thought you'd never chill out i've never seen you act that way and the next time will be the last well <laughs> i'm a leo and we don't look back i care about you us so maybe we need to break our routine Ooh, rachel Juicy. So this is 2013. That would have been a year ago. So she was 20, She was 17. Still bad. Chloe isn't scared. She's loving us. What is that screensaver? Looks gross. That makes me ill that Rachel posed like this for Frank wrote him love letters. I can't believe she was banging Frank. Rachel straight up lied to my face. Why didn't she say anything? Because she knew how you would react. And she wasn't much of a friend, huh? There's another person who shits all over me. Why does everybody in my life let me down? My dad gets killed. You bail on me for years. My mother gloms on a step fucker. Now Rachel betrays me. Chloe, Rachel is missing. Nobody betrayed you. Bullshit. Who has it? Fuck everybody. Damn, Chloe. Chloe. <laughs> oh, jeez. That flew by really quickly. Last time I looked at the clock, it was at 20 minutes. Now it's at two minutes. <laughs> I feel like I haven't played this at all. For the sake of time, I am not going to play more. I don't want these episodes to be super long, so. Chloe, you can't keep blaming me and everybody for everything wrong in your life. It's so not fair. I gotta blame somebody, otherwise it's all my She's fault. She's crying. Fuck that. Um, nobody's fault. It's just life. Shit happens. It's nobody's fault. Blah, 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 as Mr. Jefferson would say. Stop and, and quoting Marsh, him. Yes, Kate Marsh almost killed herself. Such sad, okay? Wow. That doesn't make me feel any better about my fucked up life. Get it? So who do you most want to blame? My fucking dad, of Being course. a real Hello? biatch. William? You blame William? He chose to go out that door and leave me forever. Chloe, your dad didn't choose yeah. to leave you. She's being absolutely happened. ridiculous. My mom actually blames herself. Like, how old are you? Just because she wanted a ride home from work. Do grow up. Seriously. Sometimes, even I blame her. <laughs> no, you don't. Yes, Max, I do. Do you know what it's like to wait for your father to come home when you're a kid? And he never does. No, of course not. But I was with you that day. It was just a terrible accident. I wish that made me feel better. But ever since he died, my life has been dipped in shit.
No, let's be positive. You don't want to hear this, but you're still here, alive, with me, and that is no accident. You're right. I don't want to hear this, Chloe. Jesus. I can't do this out on my own. She's so stubborn. I need you with me. And Sometimes she just really pisses me off. <laughs> if I had a friend like this, I would just be like, dude, you need to like chill out a lot. <laughs> Not just a little bit, a lot. <laughs> In fact, I have had friends like this. In fact, I've been that friend at times, so I can understand it. But even then, it was like, like looking back on it, I'm like, damn, I was, I was really insecure. Is that the right word? I don't know. I think so. Oh. Oh my god. What is happening now? Hmm. What is happening next? That is the question. Okay, can we... Okay. We'll come back to that. Um, uh, hopefully it'll just go right back to that uh, next time. But, okay, that was, um... This will be part 12 now? Jeez. Um, yeah, I'm gonna try to get this uploaded tonight. Though, you guys don't even know what day I'm recording this, so that doesn't really matter. <laughs> um, yeah, I had fun, like always, I'm still not feeling the best, so my, yeah, it was a little bit of a struggle, but <laughs> it's okay. All right, well, I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.